Hi, I'm Suzanne Manassian, and I'm going to talk to you today about Lotus Connections. Lotus Connections is a suite of social software components that includes profiles, communities, social bookmarking, activities, blogs, and aggregates them together in our homepage. You can use each of these services independently, or you can use them together. Today I'm going to focus on one of these services, Activities. Activities is really a simple concept, but a big idea. With activities, you can organize work around what you're doing, rather than around the tools that you're using to do it. Today, we tend to use a lot of tools in order to accomplish our goals, some of them being email, instant messages, team discussions, web pages, documents, presentations, spreadsheets, even more. And our goal with activities is to allow you to organize this information in one place so that you're able to share that out with other people and view all of the relevant information according to what you're trying to work on. Now, let's take a look at activities. When I first come into activities, I'm taken to my activity dashboard, which shows me a list of all of the activities that I'm working on in order of their most recent updates. I can see who's updated my activities and also reach out to them through the other Lotus Connections components, and I can view when they were most recently updated. Now I can prioritize my activities, so I'm focusing on the items that are highest priority to me, and I can even filter down my dashboard just to show me those high priority items. Each of these activities represents a different item that I'm working on, whether it's updating our plan, whether it's assessing our environmental impact, a side project I'm working on, or even customer meetings and coordinating those with different people. Once I'm done with an activity, I can mark it complete so I can view all of the items that I've accomplished. I can even tune out activities if I don't want to be involved in them anymore, or I can delete them. On the dashboard, I can also view who I most frequently interact with in my activities, and, since activities can be tagged, I can filter my activities based on different tags. I also can view the most recent updates throughout all of my activities, so I have a quick view of everything that's been happening throughout all of my activities. Now let's go inside an activity. Here, I'm going to go into my environmental impact activity that I'm working on. Within my activity, I can collect all sorts of information, emails, instant messages, files, information, and organize that so that others can access the information as well. Other people who are part of the activity can also add information. They can drag and drop emails, and they can even save information in just like I would as the activity owner. Now as you can see, the activity is divided up into several sections. Here we have a section called Initiatives, where we're tracking our goals and also the start date for those goals. Here's another section, where we're tracking people who are interested in hiring. That includes some information like contact info, when they're available, what's their email address, and even a document that they're sharing with us. We can also collaborate around these different prospective consultants. Here we can add responses with our own thoughts and our own information. There's also a section here called resources, where we have emails that we've dragged into the activity and also our comments around those emails. Now it's very easy to add new entries to this activity. Here I'm going to go to the add entry form and click on new entry. Now within this entry, I can add any sort of information that I want. But let's say I'm looking at adding a new report that I've read, and I want to make that available for other people. I may want to attach a file, so I'll click Attach File, and that will give me the option of adding a file. I can even rename this to say, this is the report that I want others to read. And, and I can very easily add that report right here into the activity. I can add a description, add some tags, and even choose what section I want it to belong to. 
I can also notify other people about this entry so that they get a quick notification telling them to check this out. Now you can see back on the activity page that the report's been added and other people can download it. I could also add email to my activities using my email client. Here in my email client, I have the activity side shelf, which gives me quick access to all of my activities. I can open up my activities so I can view more information about them. Here we see that report that I just added. And I can also see the other items within my activity. If I wanted to add a relevant email, all I'd have to do is take the email that I have and drag and drop that right into my activity. Now you can see that the new sales materials, which is the subject of that email, has been added into my activity without me having to even open the activity client. Now if I wanted to add more custom information into my activity, I could do that as well. For example, since we're evaluating consultants, I have what we call a prospective consultant entry type that I've already created as the activity owner, and I'm sharing this out with other people in the activity. Here I can pull up that prospective consultant entry, and within it you can see that it's asking for a lot of information that's relevant to tracking the consultant. For example, who's the name of the person that we are interested in hiring? What's their company website? What's their contact information? When are they available and even pick a date? What is their email address? Their proposal as well. Now, if I wanted to add in even more information, maybe something new has become available. For example, how much they're charging. I can go into the Add Properties here and add something like a text property, which I can change to be what is the cost for this particular consultant. And then I can add that in. Now what's great is that I can create activity entries for anything that I'm tracking inside my activity. Meetings, milestones, programs. I can even view more entry types that are available to me. And when I have created a new entry type, I can very easily save that for other people to borrow from. For example, here's my initiative entry. I can save this as another as an entry like this. And say this is my initiatives. And now other people who come into the activity can add another initiative and it will ask for the same set of information in this case a title and a start date. So it's really easy for us to organize the information that we want to share and also track it effectively in the different sections that are available in the activity. Here's another example of an activity. Coordinating a customer meeting. In this activity we have some information, for example some background on the customer. We also have a checklist of items that need to get done in order to accomplish this activity. For example, getting travel approval with some comments, making travel plans, and we can very easily update the, them just by checking these off. Now, let's say we've actually done a really good job coordinating this customer meeting. We can actually save this particular item as a template and that can be reused by anyone in our organization who has to go through the process of creating a customer meeting. They can borrow our checklist, they can borrow our customer background section, even our customer contacts if they want, and we can also mark the activity complete once it's done, making this something that disappears from our dashboard view, but of course is accessible through our completed activities view. Thanks for joining me in this demo on Lotus Connections Activities. If you have other questions, feel free to send me an email or check out my blog that I write with a few other members of my team. And if you're looking for more information on Lotus Connections, please check out our website. Thanks.